Hello, my name is Mike Keenest, and today we are at the White Bear Lake Superstore in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. And we are standing in front of a beautiful 2016 GMC Canyon uh, that we custom built here at the Superstore. And uh, I want to show this truck off today because we do a lot of this stuff here. So no matter what part of the country you're uh, watching this video from, we ship vehicles all over the country. And again, we're located in Minnesota here. Um, so with that said, we're the largest volume dealership here in the Midwest for GMC, and uh, we can do what you wanna do. So let's dive right in and talk about this canyon. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice is the emblems up here. It, uh, it just pops right out, very beautiful vehicle. Um, the canyon now has been out uh, for a while, um, getting great reviews. It was a Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Um, one thing that I really, really impressed by this truck is the towing capability on it. Um, I'm going to tow up to about 7,000 pounds and it, it does it effortlessly. It has a, a V6 in it. Um, it's going to get uh, mid-20s as far as on the highway. Um, your average is probably going to be about right around the 18-19 uh, um, combined. Um, but, you know, just looking at the vehicle, we have uh, HID lights here, we have the, the, the driving lights that come through here, we have our fog lights down here. Um, coming over to the, uh, the rims that we put on this is paired up with the uh, Terra Grappler tire, the G2 tire, so a great, great tire. Um, just a, a, a beautiful, beautiful truck. Uh, we have a little leveling kit on the truck to uh, knock it off to give it a better, cleaner line throughout. We have our step bars. Um, Every logo on it, we, we did the holograph paint here, so that, uh, that pops out. Um, inside the vehicle, uh, this vehicle did come standard with cloth interior seats in it, um, but uh, we upgraded them with the cat skin leather, um, which I think personally is better than the factory leather. And uh, so that's, that's a, a great feel. And we can do any color combination you want. Uh, there's over 100 different color combinations that you can uh, get for the vehicle. So we'll shut the door here and the back seat here. You have plenty of room back here. Um, one of the nice things about the canyon is, is the, uh, the storage that we have underneath. So we have the 60-40 uh, split right here and we have storage we can put under there. Stuff's not going to be rolling back and forth. Um, it's going to be contained right in there. So that's a great feature. If we can uh, swing the camera around and, and get right back here. We have what, two USB charging ports and a 12 volt port right there. Um, so that's good for your uh, passengers. Do want to point out too that this vehicle does have the 4G LTE in it. Um, so that's all set up. We have the uh, Apple CarPlay on the vehicle or the uh, Android Auto. Again, just looking at the wheels, that kind of thing. Um, great feature. Bumper steps here. Um, everything's set up for towing. We have the uh, transmission cooler, oil cooler, our, our seven pin right here, four pin, no need for adapters, two inch receiver, backup camera, torsion tailgate. As you see, uh, we're in mid-December here in the Minnesota. Pulled this truck in, got a little snow. Pretty frigid out there today. Um, so very nice light tailgate right here closes easily and so we also got the lockable tailgate there too. Um, notice on the uh, on the wheels there um, this is all laid out painted throughout here so uh, this is all powder coated here so it's not going to chip it's not going to uh, corrode on you that kind of thing um, and when we do trucks here at the, the Superstore if there is any kind of warranty problem that kind of thing we take care of it um, so no worries about that. If you want a custom built truck, we can uh, do that for you. Under here we have wheelhouse liners on a mid-sized truck. Um, it's going to quiet the truck down um, substantially, so that's a, that's a great, great option. Get rocks in the tires and they're not going to ting around back there. Um, back in the, uh, the back of the crew cab, um, again, I'll lift up the seat here so we can see the storage. On this side here, so that's there. And then also, on this here we have the uh, 
the seats will fold flat too. So that's another good option of the Canyon. Fold that back up. Coming into the driver's cabin here, um, a couple different things on the Canyon as far as uh, the counterpart, the, uh, the Colorado. One of the things that we have is we have a two-speed transfer case. So we do have the auto capability uh, for our four-wheel drive. We also have the four low. So uh, the, the Chevrolet is not going to have that feature. Um, some of the other things just to point out, and it's big brother, the uh, Sierra, all our trim on the uh, GMC trucks, all real aluminum, um, plastic on the, uh, the Chevrolet there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the vehicle and we're going to go through some of the features of the, the, the Canyon. So let's do that. Hello, here we are inside the uh, 2016 GMC Canyon. Um, just want to touch on uh, kind of what's coming up here for 17. Um, the 17 Canyons ought to be rolling through any time now. And uh, one of the things that's very exciting is the, uh, the all new Denali. So we're going to have the Denali trim line in the GMC Canyon. And let's not forget about the, uh, the i4 diesel. Um, we've sold quite a few over the past year here and great, great reviews on that vehicle. Um, customers are averaging right around the 27 miles per gallon, heard up as high as on the highway up to the 35 miles per gallon. So uh, that's a great engine, the i4 diesel in the Canyon. Um, what I'm going to do today is we're going to go through the vehicle a little bit more here, but I'm uh, going to spend some time on the Apple CarPlay and kind of showing the features and benefits of that because it's a really, really cool option. You know, one of the questions that I get day after day after day is does the vehicle have navigation in it? Um, now with Apple CarPlay, there's really no need to have factory navigation. Um, it's all run through your, your plan on your phone. Um, so let's, uh, let's dive right into that. So what I've done is, uh, and this, this can go with the uh, Android phone too. I just happen to have a uh, iPhone here. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've tethered my phone right here um, to the USB. Um, very quickly, very easily. So when I go to my home menu right here, I have my Apple CarPlay icon. Um, all I have to do is hit allow on my phone, hit the Apple CarPlay button, and there we go. Um, every, you know, they're going to be coming out with more apps, that kind of thing. But right now we have a lot of stuff on here. Um, so right out of finger touch here, if I want to go to my music, I can do that. Um, come back here to my main menu. Um, I can go into my maps right here. Um, and one of the things too is you can put your phone down out of sight, out of mind, um, because I can take my, uh, my push to talk button right here and hold it down for a, a, a probably about two seconds and talk right directly to Siri um, or go Google. So if I need to give directions, that kind of thing, um, it's connecting right to my phone and then my, uh, my navigation command is going to come right up on that screen. Um, back to the uh, the home screen here on my icons notice that i have my text messaging here um, which is going to come through i can respond to my text messages we have our audio books our pandora that kind of thing um, also your 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 music audio um, is going to be much higher sound quality when you're tethered than if you're streaming bluetooth um, so i want to point that out great feature uh, great safety feature because uh, if you can get used to not pricking up your phone not touching your phone and just controlling everything from the steering wheel here. Um, that's what it's all about is uh, making sure we stay safe as well. Um, so we'll move on a little bit here. Um, but just on the standard radio itself, I'm getting back to my audio control here. Um, I have everything down here and I can run that from here too. All my presets I can go through. There's, a, there's an unlimited number of presets that will come through if I need to. Um, so, you know, standard, uh, uh, heat control down here. We have our rear defrost, our front defrost, that kind of thing. Um, our traction control stability track, our, our, our cab light, and then of course our, uh, our trailer tow button here. Um, again, I said it before, but this vehicle has a, a 7,000 pound um, towing capacity. Um, shifter is down here now. We have some storage down here for our phone, that kind of thing. Uh, we have our center console right here, um, nice and deep. Uh, that's where my junk would go, but notice we have another USB right here as well. Um, and that one will also uh, connect to the radio. So if you want to put your phone in there and out of sight, out of mind, it will charge at the same time. Um, coming back over to the steering wheel, 
And here's kind of what we're looking at here. We have the volume back here, uh, just like the big brother, the uh, Sierra. We have our presets over on the left-hand side. Our cruise is laid out right here. Um, all our commands right here as far as uh, if I want to change my station, if I want to change my uh, Apple CarPlay, I can do that right from this uh, D-pad right here. Our voice command button, um, talk to Siri, make a call, whatever you want to do. Ask uh, for the uh, score to the Vikings, even though I don't want to do that, but uh, you can do that here and hang up right here. Um, so, again, we're in a 2016 GMC Canyon. Um, one of the reasons I want to show this truck off today is because we build cu custom trucks here at the Superstore. So if there's anything that you need, anything that you want built, uh, get a hold of me. My name is Mike, and the best way to reach me is on my cell phone at 763-607-5179. Have a great day. Thank you.